We detected this new Ehrlichia species from the blood of four patients in 2009. Since then, we've detected it in over 20 other patients. So it's a low prevalence, but it's definitely present, and we've continuously detected it now in 2009, 2010, and 2011. And in fact, this year, we've detected even more cases than the previous years, which may be because this tick season seems to be particularly bad, and tick-borne diseases are important in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And in fact, that's another important point, is that if this new Ehrlichia species is detected in a patient, it's important for physicians to also test for or consider testing for other tick-borne diseases that are prevalent in this area, such as Lyme disease, babesiosis, anaplasmosis, and possibly even Poisson virus. This bacteria probably has been in Minnesota and Wisconsin for a while. It probably has been infecting humans and we just didn't know about it. We've only been detecting it because we now have the molecular tools to detect it. And in fact, that's a potential problem because if you're using other assays, such as tests that look for antibodies in patients' blood, you're probably not going to get an accurate response and you may even miss this organism. It's only with molecular tests such as PCR that this organism can be detected. And specifically, it has to be a PCR test that is flexible enough to detect this new species. If it's a test that's very specific, just for, say, anaplasma, which is present in Minnesota and Wisconsin, then this would be missed. Well, because this is a new bacteria, physicians may not think to look for it. So there's a few important things that come out of this discovery. First of all, physicians need to know that there is this Ehrlichia species that's present in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Now, prior to this, Ehrlichiosis was thought to either be very rare or not present in Minnesota and Wisconsin at all. So physicians need to know to test for it. Second of all, they need to know that the best test to detect it is a molecular test. The tests that just detect antibodies cross-react with other closely related bacteria, so it could be misleading or it could miss this new species altogether. So a specific molecular test, such as the one that we use, is required to detect this organism. The test that we use at Mayo Clinic is a broad spectrum PCR test. It's specific for Ehrlichia and Anaplasma, but the nice thing about it is that in a, in a single test, it detects four organisms. It detects the new Ehrlichia species, which doesn't yet have a name. It detects Ehrlichia chaffeensis, Ehrlichia uingii. Those are the two species of Ehrlichia found in the United States, although not thought to be in Minnesota and Wisconsin and that it also detects Anaplasma phagocytophilum, a closely related bacteria to the Ehrlichia.